Hi, I am Mohamed Muawad and I will talk about Malaysia. In this video there will be three main topics. 1. British occupation and the Malaysian Renaissance. 2. Multiculturalism in Malaysia. 3. Malaysian people's morals. In the beginning. On August 31, 1957, the independence of Malaysia was officially declared and liberated from British occupation and from all the eras of colonialism that it had gone through. Singapore, Sarawak, British North Borneo and the Federation of Malaya were merged, and Malaysia was formed on September 16, 1963, and then happened in the following years. Tensions within the new union led to an armed conflict with Indonesia and the expulsion of Singapore end of occupation. In front of thousands of people gathered in the center of the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur to declare the country's independence. Malaysia celebrates annually on this date the Merdeka Independence Day, which means independence in the Malay language, as the country witnesses popular and military celebrations and marches. I am delighted that Malaysia is showing the world its strength and unity on the anniversary of its independence and being able to develop from poor agricultural country into one of the most developed countries in Southeast Asia and the Islamic world. Privileged Strategic Location the strategic location of Malaysia was the focus of the attention of the major colonial powers. Malaysia was also an important transit point for all sea and land commercial trips coming from South and East Asia to and from the European continent. In addition to the concern that was haunting European countries from a history of colonialism, Malaysia alternated decades of colonization and occupation, starting with the Portuguese colonization in 1511 when the Portuguese managed to control the Malacca Strait in the west of the country, and their rule of the region lasted for 130 years, then the Dutch control. After that, British colonialism was able to impose its full control over the territory of Malaysia after the Treaty of Bangkok in 1874 between the Sultan of Perak and Britain, according to which it was decided to establish the rule of the Malay Sultans under British hegemony and the name of the country was officially changed to Malaya. Rather, the country went through periods of great ethnic tension, protests and ethnic clashes between Malawians and Chinese, which prompted the country's leaders to stand firmly against division and violence. The Malaysian society is characterized by the multiplicity and diversity of cultures, as it embraces many races and ethnicities from different breeds of Malays, Indians, and Chinese. Malaysian society is also descended from cultural morals and various different intentions. The proportion of the Malay race, which is the original race of the country's population, constitutes 68% of the total population, followed by the Chinese race at 20 per year, then the Indian and other ethnicities at 12 per year. The private sector in the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur told Kuwait news agency, Kuna, that the population groups of the Malaysian society differ in terms of language, lifestyles and beliefs. The Malays are the main political force in the country, while the Chinese dominate the various economic sectors. He added, because of the Iraqi problems and sensitivities, Malaysia is a wonderful global model for ethnic coexistence. Adel explained that his father descends from the Matthew dynasty, who were the original inhabitants of Malaysia, while his mother is of Chinese origin, which made him live in a house drenched in different customs and traditions. He indicated that what distinguishes Malaysia from the rest of the world is the diversity of cultures, as pluralism had a great impact on the development of the country in various social, economic and industrial aspects, which made it rise to the ranks of the developed countries in the world. Worship is available in Malaysia for the rest of other religions and for minorities who practice their rituals freely such as Christians, Hindus, and Bushmen, where Malaysians adhere to a variety of manners. In response to a question about the truth of what was mentioned in the popular Malaysian song Malaysia, the real Asia, Hale said, Yes, this greeting expresses Malaysia in a short and beautiful way and shows the plurality of cultures and races and peaceful coexistence in the past, noting that Malaysia walks a miniature model of the Asian continent. For her part, Sidi, whose father is Adil, a retired housewife of Chinese descent, confirmed to Kuna that most of the people of the country will be peaceful, 
as prayer in mosques is a constant daily manifestation of Malaysian society in general, in addition to the celebrations of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha every year. With regard to the celebrations of the Chinese race, she said, the main Chinese religious festival is held annually to celebrate the beginning of the Chinese New Year, and that is usually at the end of January or the beginning of February, and City added, Chinese families pray in congregation and give thanks to the gods for the year that has passed, indicating that these celebrations witness many feasts. She pointed out that there is another important occasion in the Chinese year in the Moon Festival, which begins on the last day of the appearance of the eighth moon since the beginning of the new year. Saint A expressed her happiness that she combines the auras of two different cultures, the Malaysian culture and the Chinese culture, stressing her keenness to preserve those customs and traditions inherited since ancient times and about other races and religions in Malaysian society. Christianity and other minorities believe in different religions such as Christianity and others. In response to a question as to whether there is a common factor that brings together the different races and religions in the Malaysian society city confirmed that there is a sharpness in removing shoes and putting them outside before entering homes and it is the only common factor that combines these multiple agreements. She indicated that each race in Malaysia has its own different culture. Social customs in Malaysia. Malaysians are generally punctual. Sometimes they ask a lot of personal questions. According to quintessential.co.uk, as an extension to the need to maintain harmonious relations, Malaysians rely on nonverbal communication, facial expressions, tone of voice, body language. Such a communication style tends to be subtle, indirect, and Malays may hint at a point rather than making a direct statement since that might cause the other person to lose face. Rather than say no, they might say, I will try, or I'll see what I can do. This allows the person making the request and the person turning it down to save face and maintain harmony in their relationship. If you are unsure about the affirmative response you received, you may want to continue the discussion, rephrasing the question in several different ways so that you may compare responses. If the response was given because the Malaysian did not know how to respond in the negative without causing offense, this may come out. Alternatively, they may have someone else give you the bad news. Silence is an important element of Malaysian communication. Pausing before responding to a question indicates that they have given the question appropriate thought and considered their response carefully. Many Malaysians do not understand the Western propensity to respond to a question hastily and can consider such behavior thoughtless and rude. Malaysians may laugh at what may appear to outsiders as inappropriate moments. This device is used to conceal uneasiness. Do not show anger in public as it makes Malaysians uncomfortable and creates a feeling of powerlessness. There is a greater chance of achieving a good outcome if you are calm, whereas little is resolved by shouting. In the end, Thank you for your watching and see you next time.